back to Maple Farm. And first thing to cover is that I have now added in night cloaks, more realistic milk. So our first group of cows now produce no milk because they're not quite old enough. And the second group of cows produce less. So yay, they do eat less food. So there's a counter there. So yeah, just really want to try out. I want to try the um, El Ho um, Tether. This thing, Windrose as well. 357 pounds to lease. I need to change my currency. Um, so we're going to be doing some late hay this year. Um, and that means I am going to mow it, ted it and bale it straight away so that we can get it in the shed. Um, we might have to feed it straight away because it's not going to be as dry as obviously if we left it out to dry properly in the sunshine but it's october um yep so we're going to give this a try and um, basically because it was recommended to me on discord and i kind of like the idea of not having to windrow um so yeah as i said today's video <laughs> is going to be making hay and yeah making hay in october maybe not the most realistic thing but we could do with having a bit more hay in the shed so it's a fine sunny autumn day i think we should be okay so we're mowing with the conditioner on um, and then going to ted it to hay should have maybe ted it twice um, we're going to ted it to hay and then get it bailed and with mowing our two um i think it's fields 11 and 12 which have our winter cover crop in the grass so it's nice fresh young grass so cows should like it and as i said one of the the counter to my folks more realistic milking producing less milk is the cows eat less food um so i'm pretty sure it's all going to kind of balance out and then we have going to have a whole load of bales to stack so yeah not actually sure what day this video is going to release it should be today it is monday before work um it entirely depends on how long youtube takes to process videos and um, as i said towards the back end of last week i am not at all um ahead on my recording now i have a few videos prepped i have uh, but nothing nothing's ready so this is the uh, the one that's closest to being ready. It's very likely if this does release on Monday that there won't be a Timberborn video tomorrow um, because that takes me a bit longer to record. Um, and I have a very busy day ahead and tomorrow is also very busy. Um, so Tuesday, depending on when this releases because uh, Mrs. D has a, uh, a hospital appointment, so yeah, that's going to wipe out about half the day, probably the rest of the day, to be honest, because I think it's usually pretty tiring. So yeah, maybe a quiet week here, which is a bit frustrating because uh, I don't know if it's just YouTube or if it was caused by me taking a gap, but we, we're kind of climbing out of the post Christmas slump of views and. Uh, it would be nice to maintain that momentum but it happens so you know it's not something i'm gonna overly stress about because it's not going to achieve anything um yeah i've got some cool videos planned this week i'm going to have a look at um something that was someone asked on discord was uh, whether using the direct disc or using a mower affects yield of grass so I've got that prepped and ready to go. I am going to do that with and without Maze Plus because Maze Plus does affect some things like that. So yeah, that one's ready to go. We'll see how that pans out as to whether they're, what kind of difference that you get if there is any. Um, and I'm also going to have a look at, because it's a question that's cropping up a lot and uh, I'm not yet in a place where I want to sit and make one how to edit a TMR production to allow you to make t the different types of TMR for Maze Plus. So yeah, we'll go through that at the... Something that I've got on the list, but something that I've not planned yet. So that'll be towards the end of the week. So it really depends on how this week goes. It's a busy week at work and a busy week in life. 
So, yeah, I think this weekend we are doing stuff with the teenager for a university she's interested in going to. So, yeah, it's going to be a very busy week. Um, yeah, that, 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 that's kind of where we are. Um, so, mowing or hay, can you tell that I'm uh, sick? The reason that I'm not my usual uh, glowing linguistically something person is that I was awake at half three this morning with dogs that didn't want to sleep, I guess. Um, so, for a change, I'm kind of tired. So, yeah, half three call from the dogs. I sort of slept in the chair a bit after they'd been out. I can never go back to bed and go to sleep properly. My brain wakes up far too much. And um, the reason that I can get back to sleep if I stay downstairs and you know, get comfy in the reclining armchair is that I can put some background noise on and try and distract my brain. So this morning's background noise was um, an off camping video. Um, yeah, so it's a, a, that's a small, but it's not that small of a YouTube channel guy in the UK who goes camping, hence off camping. And uh, watch that. I think I actually managed to stay awake during that one, but um, I don't remember what I put on after that, but I fell asleep too. But yep, it helps. Um, so I'm going to stick the mowers on course play now because I want to have a go with this new tether. Mm. So the plan is that I'll run the tether and one of the workers will follow me around with the baler. So did they follow me? Because I'll use follow me. Yeah, I thought so. The jokes are not good this morning. They are not good at all. Um, so one of the things I do need to do is uh, install the video player that I like to use to re-watch my videos whilst I am chatting because I'm trying to make more use of the uh, the desktop now it's been rebuilt um, makes zero difference for recording audio like this but it just feels nice to use it you know so, I'm just gonna knock the width down because that looks a little wide to me and then we are going to create a course uh, don't remember how many headlines I went for probably three or four three feels like enough to me um, and I think I need to change it to uh, headlands first. I was obviously running this on something to do with bailing, or am I gonna, maybe I'm just gonna, I don't remember. When did I record? I recorded this over the weekend. So, no, I didn't, I recorded this on Friday. Over the weekend, and you'll see it later this week, quite a bit later this week, I, uh, got Greenlands through the winter, through the rest of winter, to the point we had something useful to do. Um, that took a lot of time. Um, I think I covered four days in game with uh, all of the feeding and delivering that goes with that. But in the next episode, we are through to February and some field work. So, and boy, did winter turn out to be profitable. Um, it's kind of what I expected with uh, you know, having more cows and working the BGAs hard and all that kind of thing but yeah if you've been following that series I would definitely tune into that one because it, it make quite a lot of progress over the winter and uh, do get into starting to prep the uh, the fields for spring so uh, which was kind of my goal with that one um, it's probably the longest I've played farm sim continuously in a while um, it was most of Sunday because uh, it was on Saturday as well I think it was most of Sunday I don't think I did much on Saturday um, Saturday was not a brilliant day actually yesterday wasn't a brilliant day either um, still I'm, I'm back to feeling kind of low no uh, it is what it is. Um, part of that is that I didn't really run much this weekend. Um, 
and that has a big impact on my mental health so and I'm probably not going to be running much this week either so uh, yeah that kind of sucks that's going to be kind of a uh, it, it just kind of knocks me back a bit so I have a lot to get done this week and uh, yeah there's some other reasons why I'm not running this week so anyway so this thing is working kind of well but the observant amongst you will have spotted when I leased it the working width is tiny teeny tiny and that is going to take a really really long time to do the whole field basically one row at a time we're not even covering the width of the mowers um, so I had a change of plan pretty much at this point um, the idea of what my plan is plan one just get around to this run um, so that I can get the baler off the field easily and you know have done have done anime out um, and I'm going to go and grab the windrower and we're going to windrow it and then we're going to run the um, the tether over the windrows so it's something a bit different but it makes it tolerable in terms of how long it's going to take now there is the whole thing that I have where if I could have had it and ted it on its own in the same amount of time as it takes me to windrow and ted then maybe it's not worth it but it felt like it was worth doing so the mowers have finished um, so we just need to ted and bale this uh, finish windrowing this field windrow the other field and ted and bale everything and then next time get it all stacked so I'm, I'm really curious and yes I know I yeah, people have asked or person has asked about the effect of profitability of cows by changing the uh, milking and the feeding to what Nightcloak has put in I have not looked I don't know if I will look um, certainly not immediately because those things take quite a while um, because of the way I do the data generation um, I'm it varies sometimes I'm quite old school in how I want to understand things in playing the game and um, all of the uh, can you make money from videos with maze plus apart from chickens chickens I did some some reverse engineering because the inputs and outputs are small but everything else I played the game or however many years it was to get the inputs and the outputs um i could try and work it all out from scaling things but with uh fs doesn't always follow logic so i uh and i don't know and i haven't asked and if you're watching you can answer I don't know how much effort Nightcloak put into balancing the change in every change in inputs to the change in outputs. So, um, it may be one of those things that needs a bit more tweaking. I do know that dairy cows in Maze Plus were ridiculously profitable, so it'll probably be okay. I might do some really rough calculations of change in amount of milk produced versus change in amount of food eaten say over a year that would be easier to do because i could just do that from the data you know you just assume that the cows are at, an, at a certain age and we need some fuel for the fiat that's why i've run back to the farm um had enough of enough running out of fuel in videos once was enough um yeah so i could do that i could kind of assuming that the cows once the cows reach first calf maybe um work out the difference in feed consumed in a year versus the difference in milk produced in a year that would be relatively easy actually i could have a look at doing that so yeah that that sounds like an easier video to put together um i have a look at doing that later in the week I'm glancing over at my schedule for the week I do plan videos for the week so those that are curious because I never 
I say never. I very rarely publish a schedule for the channel. Um, I've occasionally done it on the Patreon page. I occasionally have done it on Discord in the past. The reason that I generally don't is that things change. Um, so my my goal is a video a day. That's my kind of base target. Um, then at the moment, we add on to that a video for the patrons. So they get a Let's Play video. Um, a an episode of Timberborn, because I really enjoy playing that. And then whatever I do on Ohio. So potentially 11 videos a week at the moment. Um, those take varying amounts of time to make. Like the, the Ohio ones really don't take very long to make. Um, they're really chilled out to play. And then the, the editing and the voicing don't take very long. You know, they're like five to ten minute long videos. Um, I can make one of I can make a week's worth of those in the time it less than the time it takes me to make a video. So, um, but yeah. So the reason I don't publish a schedule is quite often it flexes in the week. Um, that like this week, then Monday might only have the Ohio video that has already come out. It might have Ohio and Maple. Um, there may or may not be a Timberborn video this week. There won't be one tomorrow, but I might find later in the week I feel like playing Timberborn. Um, so I don't see the point in producing a schedule when it varies. And it's not, um, at the moment, the way things are running, I can't say, you know, like Monday is always a Maypole video or whatever. Um, because it varies as I have ideas for tutorials or other random videos. And I like that flexibility. Um, ultimately, this is a, a hobby. And I kind of just want to... Well, I, was, I was curious here as to why the Baylor was running so slow. I think it's just because the Fiat's working hard. Um, and we're on a hill. Um, yeah, it, it's a hobby. And uh, I want to keep it fun. So... I tend to do, you know, I tend to mix in the tutorials that pique my interest and will make things fun for me and are hopefully interesting for you. And that one around working out the, uh, the an easy way of working out the difference in TMR and feed and milk and stuff is, uh, has piqued my interest annoyingly. Um, yeah. One thing that is frustrating me at the moment is the different player that I'm using it doesn't keep a uh, the uh, the time bar up at the bottom so I know how long's left to time you know important things like outros um, what I will do now is say thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members appreciate you guys supporting the channel um, it's particularly patron due to you guys that I uh, I have this computer in front of me to do the recording on so, um, yeah, thanks guys, you are awesome. Um, if you want to support the channel, I would recommend, again, using Patreon over YouTube. Um, there is there, there are equivalent tiers on Patreon as there are on YouTube, so there's still a 199 tier, um, and you basically get the same thing. Um, and I get a bit more, you know? So I, at one point, I had the same number of YouTube channel members as I had patrons, and the uh, the difference in what I got was about five times. So yeah, um, definitely if you want to support the channel, use Patreon instead of YouTube, because it's better. And then, yeah, so there's there's still the one ninety nine option, but if you go for the five pound option, you do get more content. So yeah enough of the advertising so because of the way i took that corner everything got clogged up and stuck um so restarted follow me in the fit we've got to repeat the process here so i think i end up taking a slightly wider turn um just to try and make it so that i can get around and the baler can get around in one go and yes the deutz is massive overkill for a tedding tractor but it's less overkill than putting the uh, 
the windrow on the back and uh, yeah I don't really believe in overkill I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's definitely a quote from one of the audiobook series that I love I can't remember which one overkill is underrated it's definitely one of the apocalyptic zombie type things that I like listening to where yeah definitely overkill is underrated when you're dealing with zombies yes I like zombie fiction although I never finished watching The Walking Dead I found that got to the point where it had uh, I, I was done with it by oh not long Oh, probably like series five or six, I think. I was done with The Walking Dead. Um, when it first came out, I thought it was awesome, but yeah, it, it definitely got to the point for me where it was done um, way before it finished. Um, it's the same. I don't remember how many series there were. I fear The Walking Dead. The first series of that was really good. But again, after that, I think I may have watched the second series. I don't know if there were more after that. I don't remember where the first and the second series ended. So, yeah. Um, but I do love some zombie apocalypse fiction. Uh, or just apocalyptic fiction in general, actually. Um, Devin C. Ford is one of my favourite authors. He's a, an English author. Um, if you're curious, I would recommend um, his After It Happens series which is not zombies, it is just, it's apocalypse, but set in the UK. Um, yeah, it, it's one of my favourite book series. And now to speed things up a bit, we are going to jump into a bit of a time lapse. We got a windows down, driving down the 405, sing along to the radio. Make it someday Nothing's gonna get in our way We will be the biggest band in town mm -mm. Round and round the world we'll go Putting on the greatest show So make sure that you don't miss out Just be there We're taking our shot Bring what you got We're going all the way to the top We will hear the sound of one million when we're backstage, we'll play loud, surfing the crowd. Everybody's jumping around. Yeah, that's the place where I wanna be. Going on stage headline on a Saturday night. Oh, 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 oh. Saturday night. Oh, oh, oh. So that that's got the bailing pretty much done. Just finishing up here. Yeah, so as I was saying. After It Happens by Devon C. Ford. It's awesome. There's something like... I don't remember how many books. Nearly 10 books, maybe, in the series. It's really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. So, yeah, go check that out. It's uh, uh, In fact, it, it's got a few really good series. So, yeah. Um, definitely worth watching. Um, so, so, you can see the bailer is still... Or the, the fear is still struggling with the bailer. I'm not sure if the bailer needs a repair. Maybe... Um, or if the Fiat needs another repair we'll see um, either way it's done so that's all of the ba ba bailing and grass work done for the year we just need to get them all in the shed so I'm going to say thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video click the like button comments, questions or suggestions below um, and if you're new to the channel think about subscribing and let's just quickly check how many bales we got um 16 that's not too bad so yeah i will see you next time on maple farm